Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you how you can connect your Django application to an AWS RDS MySQL server. So let's begin. So we, first of all, we obviously need to create a MySQL database on our AWS RDS account. So let's head to our AWS RDS. For this, you need to go inside the RDS service and now you can go inside the DB instances. So for this, now you can create a database using the create database button right here. Click on that. And now you can select your MySQL database right here. I'll just keep it free tier and I can move on to the next configurations. I'll just keep the username as admin and I can set up a password right here. So I'll set up a password and just confirm it. All right, and I'll keep all the configurations as it is, apart from the public access that will be set to yes. And also we need to configure our database name because if we do not write a database name right here, the database will not be created. Or else I'll just keep it something like test MSQL. And then I can click on create database. So that will create a database for us. It is going to take some time for creating the database. So meanwhile, we'll do the coding part. So we can head up to our Django application. I have a sample Django, Django application right here. It, it is just a one page website which just says connected to DB. And it does not even matter because we will just because we will just test it using Python manage.py make migrations and migrate if we have connected to our database or not. All right, so the process is straightforward. First of all, we need to install some requirements. For this, we can install pip install, py mysql, and also mysql client. So mysql client and py mysql are two libraries which you need to install. And after that, we can move on to the settings.py file inside a Django backend, so which is present right here. And we can see for the database variable, we have some default settings ready, which is the dbsql sqlite server, which already comes with the Django application. So we have to remove that for that. First of all, for the engine, we can set the engine now as django.db.backends.mysql, which will connect, which will help us to connect to a MySQL server. And now we can keep the name as the DB name we had kept. So that will be test MSQL. And we can set the other configurations as well. For example, we can set the user. The user will be uh, admin, which we, which was created by default and for the password we can write the password here which i had kept as log knowledge i think so and we can also set up the host so for the host uh, it will it will be known after the database has been created so we'll just pause it right here and for the port we can keep it as 3306 3306 because that's a port for a mysql database all right, so we have configured our settings.py. Now we can head up to our AWS RDS instance to see if the database has been created or not. But right, it has not been created, so let's just wait for it to be created and then we can move on to the next process. All right, so our database has been created now. As you can see, we have got the endpoint here. So I'll just copy this endpoint. This is actually the host of our database. So now we'll head up to the code and now for the host variable i can write this string all right so that should be enough for you to connect your django application to a database so we can test it using the command python manage.py make migrations and no changes it should say no changes detected perfect and also for one part that we need to enable uh the port 3306 in the security group of our database so for the database we can head up to the security group rules and now you can see the inbound rules we have two inbound rules set up you can you can head to any inbound rule and then what i had set up before is i think i have set up the configuration for all three which is mysql and postgres and aurora database so you need to set these as well so you can head on click on edit inbound rules and add the port 3306 for basically letting the public access the 3306 port of virtual private cloud, which is actually where your MySQL server is running. All right, so you can choose the custom TCP here and the 3306 port. And for the IP addresses, you can choose all IP addresses by this IP address, which is 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. This will enable all IP addresses to hit a request on a 3306 port. And now you can choose on save rules. I have already saved this rule right here, so I will not click it right now, but if you do not have this rule currently in your 
virtual private cloud, you can you have to add this rule. All right, so we are already to, uh, ready to connect to our database. So now I just run the command python minus dot py migrate and let's see if we have actually connected to a database because that will show us uh, that we have actually connected and the database is migrating to that server. All right, so you can see we have successfully connected to a database and all the database tables are being migrated to the AWS RDS server. All right, so basically that's how you can connect your Django application to a MySQL AWS RDS server. And that's it for the video. So guys, thanks for watching.